Members of the Burundian diaspora and exiled civil society leaders demonstrated outside the United Nations earlier this week, urging the international community to quickly send a large United Nations police force uh, to help protect the country's civilians. Burundi is entering its second year of post-election violence. Here's VOA's UN correspondent Margaret Bashir. <laughs> Protesters say human rights violations are growing as the situation in Burundi deteriorates. We really need to all stand together. This is not a Burundi issue. This is not an African issue. This is a humanity issue. The country has been on the brink of serious ethnic violence for the past year, since President Pierre Nkurunziza announced he would seek a third term, which many said was unconstitutional. Since his re-election, violence has killed some 700 people and thousands have been detained. There are fears the violence could explode. This can easily turn into a regional war. The UN must wake up. Activist Pierre Claver Mbon Impa was seriously injured in an assassination attempt. Hello. We have asked the international community, the United Nations, the African Union and the European Union to come to Burundi and to protect the population. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon visited Bujumbura in February and has recommended a UN police presence to help stabilize the country. Options range from a 3,000 strong contingent to a few dozen unarmed police advisors. And Kornziza's government has made it clear it does not want any international armed presence. The UN Security Council will make the final decision on force size and responsibilities. The protesters in New York urge the council to quickly pick the most robust option to end the bloodshed. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, the United Nations.